video will show you how to set up your STE file and your folders. First, you need to go to Moodle, and that's not it. Now you need to go to Moodle, and you need to find where it's going to list your TechEd ST file. This is number 12 right now. It might not be in the future. Uh, you're going to click on it. Uh, if you're in Chrome, you're going to have to click on this again, and it will open it up in Moodle. Um, then from here, you need to go to File, Save As, and... You're going to go and save it inside your H drive. I'm going to put one on my desktop because I have one everywhere. I've already created a folder, so it won't let me delete that one. But for you to create a folder, you need to click on this, and you can type in your username, or you can right-click and go New and go Folder and type in your username. Um, some people might have to do that based on their privileges. So uh, I already have one here. Um, I've already also... Uh, save this a couple times, but this is TechEd. It's an STE file. You can't see that right now, uh, except for right here. You can see it's an STE file. Just push save, update links. Yes. All right. So there we go. Um, you have your TechEd uh, STE file saved. And then you need to go to Manage Sites, and we're going to import. I did it twice. You only have one. All right. So you just double click on that. Next, you're going to click on Edit, and right here you need to change this to your username. All right, and you're going to select your folder. Wherever you made your username folder, that is, this one is on my desktop. Yours is in your computer uh, right here. Uh, and then you're just going to put select once you're on your username folder right here. All right, at this point, we're done. All this stuff right here lets you connect to the server. That's all the passwords and everything. If you bought your own web space, you would get that information, and you would have to put it in the server section. But that's all done for you. I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to click on export right here. This way I don't have to do this every single time I log into Moodle. Um, yes, back up my settings, so I'm going to push OK. And I'm going to change it to Zimmerman. All right, STE, that's perfect. So I'm just going to push save and done. Now you'll notice this changes over here. It shows me that we're connected to the Internet. If you, uh, next time you come into Moodle, you're going to have to click on, not into Moodle, into Dreamweaver, you're going to have to click on Manage down? Sites. And then click on import, and then click on the one with your name, and then you don't have to go through renaming everything every single time.